This is AJ back for another film review. Okay, I, I had a friend once um, who said that I could watch two hours of Nicolas Cage in a dark room saying nothing. Um, yes, <laughs> that's my what I think of Nicolas Cage. I, I love Nicolas Cage as an actor, I, I really do. Um, it's funny, when he first came about, um, I didn't really like him. Um, I wasn't too enamoured by his performances. I had seen his earlier stuff like um, Holly, um, Honeymoon in Vegas, um, um, Wild at Heart, that sort of a thing. Um, and it wasn't until 1996 and The Rock that I actually paid attention to him. And it's funny because sometimes you dislike an actor and then you see a film and you think, you know, your opinion of that actor changes and... and in the case of me, you fall in love with them. Um, not in that sense. Um, and, and so went with Nicolas Cage. So, yeah, uh, The Rock, Con Air, you know, two of my favourite films of all time. Love them both. Love Nicolas Cage. Or right, I've got to admit that at the moment, his choice in films, he just seems to be knocking out a lot. And I do not watch everything that he does. Um, you know, he, he seems to be doing these, these poor films but then he chooses these very arty, you know, um, Colour Out in Space, uh, Mandy, um, even th that new one, um, one where he's silent all the way through it, where he fights the big things. I can't remember the name of it. Um, anyway, yeah, so Nicolas Cage, love him or rate him. I love him. I think he's great. Superb. So I had the opportunity to watch the film Pig, um, new film with him. Um, just opened in the States um, on 20th of August, so not that long ago. Um, it's an R-rated film and it runs for one hour and 32 minutes. I'll get all this stuff out of the way first. Okay, so the, the premise of the film is a truffle hunter who lives in the Oregonian wilderness, Nicolas Cage, must return to his past in Portland in search of his beloved foraging pig after she is kidnapped. That's pretty much the write-up for the film. I'll go into a bit more. So, obviously, the film stars Nicolas Cage as Rob. Um, he's the geezer who lives out in the wilderness. Um, Alex Wolf um, stars as Amir. Um, I believe he's in Old, M. Night Shyamalan's new film when that comes out. Um, I don't really know him from anything else. I've not looked up anything else that he's done. The film's directed by Michael Sanofsky. Um, who's also credited as a writer for the story on the film. Um, yeah, so, like, like the write-up says, so, so the film is about you know, Nicolas Cage. He lives out in the wilderness, a um, bit of a hobo-looking type. Um, but he's got this pet pig that, that forages for truffles. Um, obviously, as you know, truffles are a delicacy. Um, they grow under the ground. Yeah, so this, this pig's, you know, knows how to find them. Um, Nicolas Cage, you know, digs them up. And this geezer, Alexi, um, sorry, Amir, Alexi Wolf, comes in his car, fancy car, and brings him supplies, takes the truffles. For whatever means, you know, restaurateur. Anyway, so as the story goes, um, like it says in the read-up, Nicolas Cage's pig, pet pig, is um, kidnapped, stolen. Um, Nicholas Cage is injured, um, so he heads down into town, John Wick style. No, he doesn't. <laughs> There's nothing like that. If you're expecting any action or anything, or, or a vengeance story, it's, it's nothing like that. This film is a slow burn. So anyway, he, he, he heads down into town, and it's been about ten years since he, he was last there, because he's just disappeared from society and all that. Um, and you find out that he was a, a, a chef prior to disappearing uh, and you know there's this there's this underground of of um truffle foragers so to speak yeah, and it, it's almost treated like um a drug ring <laughs> it almost feels like that sort of a thing within the film um there's there's like an underground fight club for you know for for for, for chefs right it's, it's very 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 strange in this sense um uh, yeah, so anyway, so Nicolas Cage, you know, he, he goes on in search for his pig. It brings up all the 
things from his past, blah 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 blah. Um, I won't I won't go in and spoil the film, um, as in what where the story goes and all this sort of thing. But um, is it everyone? Is this going to be everyone's cup of tea? No, it's not. Um, I enjoyed the film. I had a good time with it. And I said it's only an hour and a half long, so so it went quick. I can take slow burn films, no problem. Um, I can take Nicolas Cage slow burn films, no problem at all. <laughs> so it is a slow burn. It's a very slow burn film. Um, some of the acting is really good. I mean, Nicolas Cage is on point in this. He's, you know, he's delivering the goods. He's invested. He's interested. Um, it hasn't got no action or any silliness like that. It's 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 a story with great character moments. Um, it gives Nicolas Cage something to chew on. Um, while he's doing his craft um you know the, the support cast is all very good in the film um the direction is great the film looks fantastic i mean it, it's it's beautifully shot um uh, from camera angles to to light into the scenes that they've got in in the film and all this sort of stuff um obviously the color palette is is rather it's a dullard colour palette for the film, but um, it works for what for, for what the film's delivering. Um, the music score, the, the music on the film was done by two composers, um, Alexis Grapsas and Philip Klein. Um, I've not looked at anything that they've done, what they've done in the past, but I did notice the music as I was watching. I did, it, it stood out to me. It was like, okay, this is, you know, this has got a good, a good score to it. Um, not something that I would listen to or go out and purchase as a film score. Um, but, you know, the, the soundtrack for the film is is subtle enough. It's um, grandiose when it needs to be. It's, you know, it, it's a beautiful soundtrack um, that, 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 that complements what we see on the screen. Um, I don't know what parts, the standout parts, who they would be... Um, you know, attributed to out of the two, or if they worked in conjunction, I don't know none of this. I didn't didn't do my homework in that sense. Um, I can only tell you what what I thought. Um, so, as a film, I mean, it's one of Nicolas Cage's better films of late. I would say most definitely. Um, he he does make some terrible choices lately. Obviously, he does he's just working for the money? It seems to be, but. Then every now and then he, 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 a surprise film comes out, and this for me is one of them surprise films. Um, I mean, I get, I do lot, I do watch a lot of action films, a lot of sci-fi films, a lot of the big budget, you know, flash bang movies, so to speak. So I do enjoy it when I find a film that's that really engrosses me in in, in the way that this film did. Um, yeah, it's 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 quite a somber ending. Um, you know, but so for me, I mean, the good for the film. Now, this is where I'm, I'm biased because it's Nicolas Cage. So, uh, you know, I do like Nicolas Cage and I do like his movies and I do like his performances. But like I said, I do skip a lot of the stuff that he does today because it does look very mediocre. Um, but then something will come along and I'll be surprised. Hence this movie. Um, I, I pretty knew from the trailer what I was going into um, and it, it, it did, you know, interest me so 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 you know the acting's good scores good I've, I've gone into all the good um the bad i can't really say any bad for me i didn't find anything bad about the film i mean it was a bit odd uh, i found i found um you know it veered into this sort of odd territory where it did treat this this sort of um uh restaurateur business as, as almost like a drug trade with underground groups with a lot of nefarious stuff going on um i don't know does that happen um in the restaurant trade i don't know um you could do i guess but you know uh, yeah so so from, from that perspective i found that stuff a bit sort of like a bit, bit weird but you know um i think from a from 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 an outsider's perspective someone else watching the film they might find it very slow um, they might have issues with pacing. Um, they might indeed be bored with it, um, but I wasn't. Um, you know, I, I, some films that bore people that don't bore me. Other films that 
don't bore people, do bore me. Um, so this one didn't bore me. So, but I can understand if people take issue with 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 the pacing, um, with the slow burn storytelling. Um, I mean, I have seen reviews um, that I've looked at just prior to this, just briefly, moaning that there's there's no action in it. I mean, oh, come on, how, how old is that person writing that review? Oh, there's no action. Christ Almighty, you know what I mean? This is and this is a problem with a lot of filmmaking today. Is the younger audience they do not have that attention span where they can watch a story and enjoy a story. It's got to be flashbang from beginning to end, right? I mean, there are films that you know it, it, when I watch films that are like that, it, it, I do find myself getting boring, getting bored. Sorry, when when it's just non-stop action. From beginning to end, I watched some the other day, um, that Karen Gillan one. Uh, you know, and it's just like, oh, all right, let's see, have a bit of have a bit of meat on the bones, shall we? This film gives you meat on the bones. Yeah, it doesn't need flashy action. It doesn't need car chases or explosions or guns. It's a story. It's a story of a man um, in search of something that he's lost, and in turn, he comes. He comes across and he finds. He finds. In himself what he's missing and all this sort of stuff do you know what I mean so it's a very it's a character study it's a wonderful wonderful film um, yeah thumbs up for me I'm not gonna give it a rating out of 10 I never do for films um, that's just too simplistic um, is it worth watching when it comes out yes it's worth watching when it comes out if you like slow burn movies if you like Nicolas Cage top of his game then go and see this film watch this film it is very good um so that's me done for today um with this review so anyway this is aj i'm shooting off um i think i'm going to be in for the rest of the day so i might upload some more videos i might do watch some other stuff um we'll see what happens anyway thank you for watching please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell wherever it may be i don't know um leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Um, this is AJ signing off for another one. And I shall see you later.